Hey guys, Rob from the Offer Tiny House. Crisco Candle failed again. So, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, have a little f couple of more options. We have a birthday candle, we have shoelace or shoelaces, tie those together, cut them in half, whatever. And we also have actual lantern wicks and uh, I believe these will work the best but I'm gonna go ahead and try the um, um, the shoelaces first as far as I can tell that's probably gonna be the best and I'm gonna kinda just take two and kinda double them over something like that make a big wick out of one I'm leaving the uh, ends that are sealed here. I'll just shove those into the bottom of the uh, the jar, and we'll go from there. But uh, I think the best way to do this is uh, might have to spiral this thing, um, kind of braid it or spiral it together so it kind of holds its shape somewhat. basically twisting it and then I'll double it over so it holds its shape hopefully um, there is a few people online that commented that you should put like a piece of wire in for a skeleton for this stuff um, so it kind of stays upright so it doesn't just drown in the liquid um, we will see how that pans out um, but go from there something along those lines so I'm gonna jam this in here and uh, go from there so I'm just gonna make a little hole down the center oh that broke right through Sounds like so. my brother may be home. Possible. I'll j yeah, he is. So I'll jam all this crap down inside. And it's a little liquidy in there, so... I'm assuming that is going to absorb nicely and uh, I'm going to kind of leave it like so so the candle wick that's in there when I fire it up it'll start making liquid down inside the hole here and light this guy on fire so let's go ahead and light it up I'm not worried about wire using wire at this point because why not so the way it is it's these this guy's already starting to melt and produce liquid that liquid's getting going down in the cavity where I just shove the shoelace and the shoelace will start absorbing all that liquid and basically turn into a nice wick so I think that's gonna be a nice little win-win we'll see we shall see that is true um, and then eventually I'll just push this over and see how well that works now I'm using the cheapest stuff possible guys, all dollar store items, um, other than the lantern wicks. It would be nice if they sold those at the Dollar Tree, but um, not that lucky. So she's filling in nice. It looks like the shoelace is nice and L saturated. So I'm just going to 
don't want to put the flame out, but if I can get this to light, depending on if this is actually cotton or not, or some synthetic crap. Let's see what it says here. Adult shoelaces. Adult shoelace. Oh God, if it's synthetic, then it's probably not gonna work too well, is it? Let's, let's hope it's not, but you never know with China. They put everything into anything, so. dare try to oh she burnt out so it looks like that particular shoelace was a epic epic fail so we're gonna move on and I'm gonna pop one of these out um, these uh, replacement lantern wicks I have the highest hope for these because, well, basically, there's not much else you can really do. And it's already liquid, so that's great. That will help this thing to absorb because this wick is meant to absorb all that liquid. And uh, once it's saturated enough, we can light her up and go from there. So, kind of let that sit. I might let that sit for the rest of uh, the day and then light it off tonight. I think that's probably the best bet since this usually, as you can see the liquid in there, it's going to take a little bit for this guy to absorb it all. But uh, what I can do, for shits and giggles here, let's just light it up. Because if this wick keeps continuously pouring, uh, the liquid into that hole it's just gonna go in and liquefy and get that lantern done up so I think that's gonna be decent we'll see so that w that candle wick that we attempted also from the Dollar Tree is just shoving all that melted liquid into the lantern wick now and then the lantern wick's going to absorb saturate and then eventually I'm sure that flame will make its way over to the lantern wick hopefully or I just come back and light it up later whatever the case may be so for now let's put this bad boy back in the chimney oh she just went out That's how crappy using just a regular candle and these things go. But what I'm going to do is just let this sit because there's plenty of liquid in there. I'll be back later tonight. Gives it a chance for this lantern wick to absorb all that liquidy goodness. And then I'll light this sucker up tonight for you guys and we'll try it out. Hopefully we're getting a tad closer to... Um, how to do these Crisco candles without a bunch of crap. So it, it's really dependent on the wick. You can't just shove a candle in apparently. Um, that's all bogus online. And uh, shoelaces, the ones I had are particularly no damn good. So forget that and go from there. So I'll be back tonight guys and we'll try it out. 